Hi and welcome to my class. I'm Carola and today we're going to do a chest and shoulder opener which should be suitable for all kind of levels. Um, just like always, do whatever you can, listen to your body and um, take it step by step, don't hurt yourself. Okay, let's start with a little tuning. So we close our eyes and arrive in here and now. Just notice the sounds around you. Feel the floor underneath you. And then observe your breath. Today, especially observe your rib cage, your chest. Rising and falling with every breath. The ribs expanding with every inhale. Notice how it automatically flows. Air in, air out. Without any effort. And then try to make your breaths longer and deeper. Expanding your chest a little bit further with every inhale. And relaxing on the exhale. Let's warm up our body as well. Let's circle our shoulders, warming up the shoulder joints. Into both directions. And then relax the shoulders. Bring your head to the right side, stretching the left side of the neck, pushing the left shoulder down a little bit. And slowly bring your chin to your chest, stretching the back of the neck. And roll over to the other side, head to the left, stretching the right side of the neck, slightly pulling the right shoulder down. Bring our arms to the side, 90 degree in your elbow more, more or less. And on the inhale, we draw the elbows back, bring the shoulder blades close to each other and open the chest, shoulders stay low. On the exhale, we close forward, we only close the upper part of the back, the lower back stays straight. On the inhale, we open, draw the shoulder blades together and elbows back. Exhale, we close, create space between the shoulder blades. Bring the arms and elbows together. Inhale, open. Also open your throat area a little bit, stretching the chin forward, upward, without compressing in the neck. Exhale, draw the chin a little in. Inhale, open. Chest and throat. Exhale, forward, open the back. Inhale, open. Exhale. A few more times in your own breath rhythm. Now 
And last time, open and close. Release your hands down. On an exhale, bring the right hand onto the left knee and the left hand behind your sacrum. On the inhale, lengthen your spine again. Bring your chest forward, upward. And then on exhale, start twisting slightly, starting from the belly, then the chest. And last, the head. Looking over your left shoulder, a slight twist to warm up the spine. And release, come back. And we swap the sides on an exhale, bring the left hand onto the right knee and the right hand behind you onto the floor behind your sacrum. On an inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, start twisting from the belly again. Then chest, head last. Keeping the shoulders low. And release. And we're going to warm up the sides as well. On an inhale, bring the left arm up. On an exhale, walk the right hand to the side as far as you can. Reaching with the left hand up and over your head. Really opening the left side. The left seat bone keeps uh, down at the mat, stays grounded. And you open, breathing deeply into the left rib cage. Maybe look underneath your arm, up towards the ceiling. And on the next inhale, come back up again. Exhale, arm down. Inhale, the right hand up. Exhale, walk the left to the side as much as you can, keeping the right seat bone anchored on the mat. And stretch the right hand up and over your head, opening the right side. Expanding the right rib cage with every inhale. Come onto our knees. So you can just roll over and sit down onto your heels and then walk your hands forward, dropping the chest down and the forehead onto the mat for a moment. Drawing the shoulders back so that you bring the shoulders away from your ears while you reach the hands forward. So we're not closing down here with the hands onto our ears, but we keep the shoulders down, the shoulder blades push against the back and draw down. The arms are active in this case. Straight, working. Your neck is relaxed. Observing your breath for a moment. And slowly lift your head up and walk your hands back, bring your upper body up. And we're going to interlace the fingers in front of us and stretch forward with our hands and rounding the, the back. So this time you really are allowed to round the back as much as you can, tucking the head down a little bit as well. And on an inhale, we straighten again, bring the arms up overhead and open the chest. Still the shoulders are away from the ears, but we're stretching the arms up and a little bit back. Make sure you're not coming completely in a hollow back, so we don't want to have any pressure on the lower back. We're just opening the shoulders here. We're not having the pressure down here. So you're going to really reach up, bring the sternum forward upward. On an exhale, we round again, draw the head in, shoulders low, pulling forward with your hands. Opening the space between your shoulder blades and inhale, come back up again. Draw the arms back and up, keeping the shoulders down. Looking straight ahead, open the shoulders. And exhale, round. Inhale, open. Three more in your own breath room.
you finished with the last one, release your hands and bring them, bring the arms down onto your sides. And then come onto your knees, bring the hands forward, right underneath your shoulders, and step your feet back, coming into a plank position. So you want to warm up the core here a little bit, pushing into the mat, fingers wide spread, all connected to the mat, shoulders pushed away from the mat. So you don't want to hang in here, but you're really actively pushing the upper back away from the mat. Make sure you're not sticking your bum out high or hanging through here. We're like one line in between shoulders, hip and the heels. Pushing the heels back to the back of the room. Core is active, arms are active, legs are active. And your neck is in a neutral position in line with your spine. Really engaging the, the core area here. And on exhale, we push back and bring the pelvis back and up. You can bend the knees a little bit, come into downward facing dog. Maybe you want to walk your dog a little bit, bringing one heel down at a time. Making sure that the back stays long. So you really want to draw the tailbone back and up, lengthening the back, lengthening the spine, dropping the shoulders slightly down. And from there you can start slightly straightening the knees. And the hips relax. And we slowly start walking with your feet towards the hands. You can bend the knees again here, just relax the belly onto the, the thighs for a moment, letting the head hang. You can grab the opposite elbows and really relax into this pose, letting gravity do the rest. Bring your hands down. Please straighten the knees a little more. And eventually slightly bend the knees again. Straight back and on an inhale, bring the arms up. Rise all the way up. Exhale, hands in front of your heart. Press your thumbs against your sternum, looking straight ahead. And let's do a round of uh, sun salutation variation. Come to the front of your mat. Find your um, basic mountain pose. Big toes touching, outside edges of the feet parallel to the floor. Arches are engaged, legs are engaged, tailbone slightly tucked in. Shoulders back and down. You can bring your hands to the side, palms facing forward. On an inhale, bring your arms up overhead. Slightly reach your sternum forward, upward, and your arms backward, upward, without compromising in your lower back here. So core is engaged as well. On an exhale, fold forward. If you need to bend your knees, relax your head. Inhale, come halfway up, lengthen the spine. Exhale, bend your knees, step the right foot back, right knee down, right foot flat. On an inhale, bring your arms up, equestrian pose. Stay here for three breaths. And again, you can reach upward, forward, opening the chest. The sternum wants to go forward, upward. And on the next exhale, bring your hands down, framing the left foot. Tuck the toes of the right foot under, step back into plank. Push the heels back towards the back of the room again. And on an exhale, bring the knees down onto the mat, chin and chest down. Inhale, scoop forward, lift the shoulders up, squeeze the shoulder blades together, but shoulders low. And out of your upper back, working to cobra. Opening the chest again. Legs are activated. Try to have less weight into your in your arms, but work out of your back. Tailbone is tucked in again. Pubic bone pushes into the mat to protect your lower back. Exhale, lower down. Come through tabletop if you want to, or directly 
into downward facing dog. Pushing the tailbone back and up again. On the next exhale, shift your weight forward, step your right foot between your hands, left knee down, and inhale, come up into equestrian pose on the other side. Three breaths here. Straight arms, shoulders relaxed, opening the chest. Exhale, hands down, step forward, meet the right foot with the left. Inhale, come halfway up, lengthen the spine again. Exhale, fold. Inhale, bend the knees slightly, straight back, come all the way up, arms overhead. Slightly back bend, open the chest, reach back with your arms, strong core. Exhale, hands together in front of your heart. The same on the other side, this time we're going to flow a little bit quicker without holding the breaths in between. Inhale, arms up. Reach back, exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift, lengthen the spine. Exhale, hands on the mat, step the left foot back, left knee down. Inhale, arms up, sink down into that left hip. Exhale, hands down, step back into plank. Inhale, push the heels back, push into the mat. Exhale, lower knees, chest and chin down. Inhale, scoop forward into Cobra, opening the chest. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale here. Exhale, step the left foot forward between the hands, right knee down. Inhale, open the chest, sink into the right hip. Exhale, hands down, step forward, meet the left foot. Inhale, come halfway up, lengthen the spine. Exhale, fold. Inhale, slightly bend the knees, come all the way up. Open the chest, reach back with your hands. Exhale, hands down in front of it. If this sun salutation was a little bit fast, you can also have a look at my video, the sun salutation special class, to practice the details a little bit and get more info and alignment and more practice um, of the sun salutation routine. Okay, let's continue on an inhale, bring the arms back up again. Exhale, fold forward, keep the back straight as long as you can. Inhale, lengthen the spine, come halfway up. Exhale, bend the knees, both hands on the, the mat, step both of the feet back into a plank. This time we're going to lower down onto our forearms. Make sure that the elbows are underneath your shoulders, pushing hands and elbows into the mat, strong legs, really engaging the core here, tucking the tailbone in. So you're rotating the pelvis back a little bit, working in our core. With all the back bending and shoulder opening, we open the front and um, use the back muscles, but we also need to strengthen the core. And eventually, on an exhale, bring the knees down onto the mat and then the belly down. Keep your elbows underneath the shoulders legs together and activated and then pull back on the mat so you're opening the chest again pulling your hands back as if you want to draw the mat back on the floor looking straight ahead shoulders down and back sternum wants to go up and forward sphinx pose again the pubic bone pushes into the mat Tailbone is tucked in to protect the lower back. On the next exhale, lower down. Bring the arms out in front of you and the forehead onto the mat. Relaxing for a moment here. Inhale, lift the right arm and the left leg up, activating the glutes, the leg muscles, the shoulders and the back. And exhale down, 
Inhale, other side, left arm and the right leg. Lengthening the hand pulls forward, the foot backwards. And exhale down. Inhale, bring both legs up, both arms up. Reaching forward with your arms. Point your toes. The whole body is active, the whole back line is active. And exhale, release down. You can bring your hands together to put your head onto the hands, relaxing for a moment. Bend your knees and try to grab your ankles with your hands on each side. If you can't reach there, you can use a strap or a belt alternatively or a scarf. Maybe. And bring it around your feet. Slowly going to the strap. Your knees want to stay together as close as possible. And then on an inhale, you want to push your feet into either the strap or your hands. And then lifting up the upper body, drawing the shoulders back, opening the stone into the front. And if you can, lifting the thighs off the floor. The key is to really push with your feet into your hands or into the strap and working your back muscles to lift the chest and the sternum up. And then exhale, release. You can bring your hands underneath your head again and relax for a moment. You can wiggle your pelvis from side to side to release um, tension that might have built up in your lower back. And come back to your breath again. Observe how your ribcage opens up with every inhale and falls down with every exhale. hand out to your side in a 90 degree angle. The left hand can just be on your side, the elbow bent. And then bend the left knee and bring the left foot over your right leg in a slight rotation. So you want to have a little stretch in your right chest muscle. So you can use your left hand to push against the floor slightly to open up that ankle again. You can play a little bit with the angle of the right hand, maybe bending the right elbow to get a different stretch or a more intense stretch. Bring the elbow in about 90 degrees. So you should feel the stretch in this part of the body, this part of the chest. You can rest your head onto the mat if you like. And on exhale, return onto your belly, bring the left leg down onto the mat and swap hands, the right hand next to your face, the left arm either straight out to the side or with the elbow 90 degree angle, bending the right knee, bringing the right foot over the left leg and then turning, pushing into the right hand, into the twist, into the stretch. Maybe you want to walk the left hand a little bit further away from you to have a better stretch. If there's any sharp pain, just leave this um, exercise out and don't hurt your shoulder with any movement that is uncomfortable. You can 
the right, exhale your head down again onto the mat. Finding a comfortable stretch here. So release, return the right leg onto the mat. Bring your hands underneath your forehead, underneath your head. One more time to the legs for a moment. And bring your hands underneath your shoulders. Push yourself up onto your knees. And maybe you have some blocks or books or some kind of box that you can use. Uh, you can place your blocks in front of you or whatever you've got. Um, or you try it without. Maybe that's already enough of a stretch. So you bring your hands out far in front of you. The hips stay up. You walk forward a little bit and you drop the shoulders down. So that's one possibility. Puppy pose. That's opening the shoulders, opening the chest. You're still slightly pushing into the mat. If you want to intensify the stretch a little bit, you can take the blocks, come a little bit closer, and place the elbows onto the blocks. Interlace the fingers, and then drop down, relaxing the head in between your elbows, your shoulders, having the shoulders up here. You can play with the position of your arms either straight, or behind your neck, really letting the shoulders fall in here and opening the chest. Depending on your flexibility, you have to put your support a little bit higher or lower. And um, depending on the um, width of your shoulders, you can bring them further apart or have a broader support part in front of you. Or it might just be a chair or a table that you've got available. Really try to relax all the muscles that you don't need right now in the shoulders. Really opening up the front and stretching the triceps as well. At least if you have your elbows bent. So your hip is slightly pulling backward to increase the stretch. slowly release. Support yourself on your hands. Take your support to the side. And come lying onto your back. You can draw the right knee up, 90 degree angle, and then let the right knee come over the left side into a twist. Arms out to the side, 90 degree. You can wiggle the left hip under a little bit underneath your body to increase the stretch. Important here is to keep the right shoulder grounded on the, on the floor. Make sure you don't have a bigger angle and your arm is high up because that can create pressure in your shoulder. So not higher than 90 degree. And if you want, you can bring the left hand onto the right knee to increase the stretch a little bit but keeping the right shoulder anchored on the mat. And if you want, you can look over your right shoulder, completing the twist for the whole spine.
slowly come back, bring the right knee up, bring the hip in the middle, straighten the right leg, and then bring the left leg up on an inhale. On an exhale, let the left knee come over the, to the right side, maybe wiggle the right hip under a little bit, keep the left shoulder grounded, and maybe look over the left arm. You can bring the right hand onto the left knee again to increase the stretch. And try to relax into the pose, not pushing yourself too hard. eventually release. On an inhale, bring the left leg back up, pelvis into neutral position and straighten the left leg. Bring your arms onto your sides, a little bit away from your body, feet more than hip width apart, let the toes fall out to the side, lengthen the neck for a moment and then relax into your Shavasana. Check your body briefly for tension, starting at your feet your legs, your hips, your pelvis, release the pelvic floor muscles, the belly, lower back, upper back, chest and shoulders are relaxed, your arms, hands and fingers, the neck, all the face muscles, the jaw, you feel heavy and relaxed, your breath flows easily, your chest rises and falls without any effort.
toes, the fingers, and moving your head. Full stretch. Roll over to your favorite side, supporting the head with your arms, drawing the knees up for a moment. And push yourself up back into a seated position. Cross legged position, straight back. Close your eyes again for a moment. Just feeling the effects of this glass. And so you open your eyes. Thanks for taking part in the class. Hope to see you next time. Namaste.